Hey teachers, in this video we're going to talk about all the different things you can do inside your gradebook for Schoology and we're going to start right now. For more content like this, like, subscribe and turn notifications on. Alright, so I have here a gradebook for one of my sandbox courses or this one is a box sand course because I needed two for something I was doing. Um, so what the gradebook, alright? I just want to give a general overview of the gradebook real quick for those of you. This would this will go for no matter who uh, is using Schoology. This is just great for you to have inside your gradebook or just to know these things. So you can sort by your nine weeks or however your school splits up the terms. Our school added a phase one. I'm not sure that everyone does that, but you can sort it and just look at those things. You can look at all your materials. So if <clears throat> once you have more stuff inside your class. This will give you a way to look at all the categories, all your different assignments, and you can split it up that way. All right, due dates. You can, different teachers like different things. So you can go by due date and you can go from, you know, ascending or descending, or you can do that from created. Uh, and the view here, you can show full tiles, which doesn't show much uh, different, or you can do you know, show the grading scale. I like the grading scale a little bit better. And then if you're a teacher that likes to stay uh, organized and you want to mark things and highlight things missing or incomplete and stuff like that inside the grade book, you can do that uh, as well. And that will help you if you're a teacher that likes stuff like that. But the biggest thing that I want to show you uh, for all teachers inside the grade book is this big plus icon over here. Um, I would ignore these three things. If you're going to create any of these inside Schoology, I would do that in materials because that most of you have some kind of folder organization going on and you don't want to create it here and then have to go back and add it in the folders and all that stuff. So just, just go ahead and materials and do those. But if you do an assignment outside of Schoology, so if you're one of those schools that has traditional uh, school still and some online stuff or maybe a hybrid schedule, if you do something in class that's not related to Schoology and you want to put that in your Schoology gradebook, you just add a grade column and you'll have all the settings you do for anything else. You can name it, put it in whatever grading category you want once you have those set up. Um, and the everything else is the same, individually assigned, publish, all that stuff's the same. And you can have a grade column that will average in Schoology whether you did it in Schoology or not. So if it was a lab or some sort of reading assignment outside of Schoology, you could put that in there. Now, I wanted to go over the basics of that because now we're gonna talk about how to actually set up your gradebook. And there's two ways, total points or weighted averages. I'm gonna do total points first. So if you wanna do weighted averages and you wanna to skip to that, uh, the timestamps down below, the number will be highlighted in blue. You just click on it and you can go straight to weighted averages. So if you wanna set up total points inside your gradebook, different categories, if you wanna do different categories, you can. Uh, I personally don't like to do different categories if I'm doing my grades by total points because everything averages the same anyway and our school's doing total points right now. So when I add a category, what I did is I just made a graded category, all right? instead of non-graded and it wants a weight so the weight would be if it asks you for a weight um, you can make it 100 but again you do not want weighted categories so depending on if that's already turned on or not for you you can turn it off now only have one section every now we're total points good to go total points is super easy to set up just do one category make it graded and then you're good to go because again you're not doing percentages so you don't need extra categories because that's extra work and you all have enough going on as it is don't do extra work now if you're wanting to do weighted categories all right you will have to if you're if yours is blank here all right so i'm going to delete that one it's going to delete it and it's going to give me an error because that's the only category i have so i'm going to go back to the previous page if it'll let me all right, now I don't have any categories. So if you want to set up weighted averages, so let's say that we want to put homework in one, all right? Now, right here, if you're doing weighted averages, this part is still important. I would not click percentage 
all right because if you do percentage you're not going to be able to do grades separately inside of Schoology. So like if you made a uh, homework, you know, inside your homework category, if you did something worth 10 points and your kid made an or your student made an 8 out of 10 on that assignment, if you click percentage, it's going to count that one homework assignment as 80%. All right, so you don't need that. You need total points. Uh, so unless you just really want to, you can do that. But depending on how you do your class, you do you. I'm not here. But I just wanted you to be aware of that because some teachers don't understand that. And it's ran into problems in the past and you have to go back and fix. And grades change and it's a big headache. So total points. Wait. Again, if it asks you for the weight, go ahead and put it in. So for this one, I'm going to say homework is worth 10%. I have a weighted category. I'm good to go. All right. And then you can continue this process for each of your categories. All right. So um, for this one, so let's say I'm just going to do three basic one quizzes. Uh, we'll make them 25%. And then the last one is we'll do tests. All right. One thing I want to point out real quick. Don't freak out. Uh, right now, you only have two categories, and one's 10 and one's 25. So it kind of has to make the percentages uh, not the way you want them right now because you don't have the third category. But once I add the third ca category as, you know, tests, um, total points, and I make it 65, it all averages out in the end, and you're good to go. All right, so now you have your grades set up, and you're good. If you need a few extra things, um, there are, you can go, if you're, you know, a elementary type teacher, you can, uh, that only does A, A pluses, stuff like that. You only deal with letters. Uh, you can change that over here if you need to. Uh, if it's not locked for your school, I, it looks like it's locked for us because we're a secondary school. We wouldn't need it anyway. Uh, down here, also, if your grade book, if you have too many columns over here that you don't want, uh, down here at the bottom are all those settings that you can uh, uncheck and check those things if you need to, uh, to have less or or inside your gradebook, depending on how you like that set up, to work. All right, and so that's it. That's everything that we need to know about the gradebook inside Schoology. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it with a friend, um, and subscribe to the channel. That would be great. So to stick around at the end, uh, we should have uh, two screens pop up for a playlist and a next video. And the circle icon is how you can subscribe quick and easy. Thanks for watching. Good luck this year and happy teaching, friends.